All right, so let's start this new project in which we have to make a small button on the HMI screen, which will actuate the PLC output. Okay, so the first step is we have to add some devices here. So we'll, I'll go to add new device. I'll select my controller, which we are using S7-1200. And I will go to my controller, which is this one, 1212C AC DC relay. And this is my suitable model. All right, I will add this model in my device and network section and I have to check with my IP address. You must note that the IP address which I'm using in my Ethernet board is 192.168.0.2, all right? So the one which I want to use in PLC is 192.168.0.3. This is because I'm using a router and its address is 192.168.0.1. So I have to make sure that the IP address should not conflict with other IP addresses, all right? So my PLC is here with my IP addresses are configured. Now I have to add a new device, which is my HMI. In this case, I'm going to add KTP 400, and this is the model. Click OK. And I don't want to have any other screens, so I will just quickly navigate to and finish. So that's my HMI. So now we'll go back to device and network. I want to check the IP address of HMI. So in this case, we are using the IP address 4, all right? If you want to check that, we can we can verify this IP address. I will go to, I will shut down this HMI uh, so that I can access the settings. So in the settings, I can see network interface. So this is five. I can change that to maybe four. All right. So this makes sense. Okay. So the IP address is changed to four. Now I have to make sure it's four here. Now to link this PLC in HMI, all I have to do is I have to just click and drag. So that's how you link your PLC in HMI, okay? So next is we have to go to my program block in PLC and I will add a logic. Uh, I, can, I can make a simple logic that we have a bit M0.0 .0, and we have an output coil Q0.0. So this bit is going to actuate the coil. Now this bit we have to make in the HMI. So I will go back to my HMI screens. I will go to screen zero. In screen zero, I will make a button. So the button, I can take a switch from here. Now this switch is in the toolbox of the element, okay? So drag the switch here. These are the predefined switch. I will increase its size. Now I have to tag the switch with the PLC tag. For that, I will click in the properties. In the properties of the switch, I will take tag one. So tag one is here, my HMI is ready. Now we have to download the logic, okay? So first I will download the HMI logic. In this case, I have to just confirm its IP addresses again. So the IP addresses for HMI is four and we are using a router, so make sure this is tick. This is okay, and in PLC, this is okay. All right, so I'll go back to my PLC and let's download the PLC logic first. So click on download and start search. Now, this is just for the information that my PLC, HMI, and PC are connected via a router, okay? So this is linked, now I have to load it. Now the program is being loaded in, the, in my PLC, stop all and click load. So it will take a while and it will load the logic in the PLC, okay? So the PLC logic is, is ready. Now I can monitor that to see if it is working fine. Seems like this is fine, so let me just check it. Yeah, if I turn on this bit, output is on, this is okay. I'll go back to zero. Now let's see if this can happen with the HMI. Let's go to screen zero, now we have to download this logic in the HMI again. So if you click download, and you have to search your HMI, because it will search the HMI in the network, this HMI is here, so click load, and you can see in the HMI screen, you can overwrite it, click load again. You can see this Profinet, and this is showing transferring. So this is transferring the data, you can see the screen as well. Now the HMI is ready. So this is my screen zero, so let's see the PLC block. So this is my block, so that's my HMI. So I have to go to screen zero now, so we can go like this. Now if I click this button, my output should be on. So if I turn on this one, you can see that this bit is on. <clears throat> so the simple logic is we have tagged this bit with the tag of this HMI element, and we have just configured the IP addresses. So this is a simple logic 
to turn on and off the output using a simple switch on the HMI. I hope this makes sense. Now in the next video, we'll see a different types of element on the HMI and how we can use it. So let's take an example. We have to see how we can use a push button in the HMI. We can't see any push button in the library. If you see here, there's no push button. So we have to define this button uh, to work as a push button. So let's see how we can do that in the next video. Thank you.